we will talk about the top seven causes of low blood pressure, the most common signs and symptoms, and how to treat common hypotension cases. First, let's define hypotension. If blood pressure is lower than 90 over 60, it is considered hypotension or low blood pressure. However, not all low blood pressure indicates a disease. Around 20% of people with low blood pressure measurements have no symptoms, and they are stable and well. In these cases, low blood pressure can be a variation of normal. Now let's discuss the symptoms that occur when there are symptoms. Dizziness and lightheadedness are the most common signs of low blood pressure. People commonly describe these sensations as feeling faint, seeing stars, or feeling like their head is floating. Dizziness develops because the brain is very sensitive to blood flow, as it constantly requires oxygen and nutrients. Any reduction in blood flow causes these sensations. The second most common sign is syncope or fainting, where a person temporarily loses consciousness due to direct blood insufficiency. Other symptoms include nausea, caused by reduced blood flow to the stomach and brain, as well as blurred vision and fatigue. The most common cause of hypertension is when a person stands up quickly from a sitting or lying position and feels dizzy. This is called orthostatic hypertension. The idea behind this condition is that when we sit or lie down, blood pools in the legs due to gravity. During rapid position changes, blood vessels constrict to increase blood return to the heart, but this constriction can be slightly delayed, causing the brain to sense low blood pressure. It can happen to anyone but is more common among older adults, and the most common cause is a lack of fluid intake. Dehydration and blood pressure medication intake are also more common in people with chronic diseases like diabetes or neurological diseases. Treatment involves increasing fluid intake, consuming more salt, under medical supervision, and avoiding large meals to prevent postprandial hypotension. You can also stand up slowly or cross your legs and tense leg muscles before standing up to increase blood return to the heart. Regular exercise improves general cardiovascular health and decreases the risk of orthostatic hypotension. If other therapies are ineffective, medications like fludrocortisone and droxodopa, for neurological causes, such as in patients with Parkinson's, are used. Dehydration is the second most common cause of hypotension. When a person doesn't intake enough water, it directly affects blood volume and blood pressure. The average human requires more than 2 liters of water, and the optimal intake is around 8 glasses per day. As a general rule, fluid intake should be increased during hot weather, physical activity, or illness. Aim for pale yellow urine, which indicates proper hydration. The third most common cause of low blood pressure is medications such as diuretics, beta blockers, alpha blockers, ACE inhibitors, calcium channel blockers, and certain antidepressants. For example, diuretics, which are used for swelling and heart failure, can cause hypertension because they lead to fluid loss and hypovolemia. Examples include furosemide, hydrochlorothiazide, and spironolactone. Beta blockers reduce heart rate and the force of heart contractions, thereby reducing blood pressure. Examples include atenolol and propranolol. Other medications that can cause hypertension include alpha blockers, ACE inhibitors, calcium channel blockers, and antidepressants like amitriptyline. Certain supplements can also lower blood pressure. For example, hawthorn and omega-3 fatty acids cause blood vessel dilation. L-arginine and garlic supplements can also contribute to hypertension. The fourth most common cause is vasovagal syncope. This occurs when a person faints due to fear, such as seeing blood during a blood draw or injection, physical pain, heat exposure, or straining. The cause of vasovagal syncope is the overactivation of the vagus nerve in response to stress. Normally, during stress, blood pressure and heart rate increase, a sympathetic response. However, in vasovagal syncope, the vagus nerve is paradoxically overactivated, leading to a sudden drop in heart rate and vasodilation, which results in decreased blood pressure and syncope. To treat vasovagal syncope, lie down with legs elevated to improve blood flow to the brain. If lying down is not possible, sit down and put your head between your knees. 
Prevention can include being aware of and avoiding known triggers, such as standing for long periods or extreme heat. Tensing leg muscles or crossing legs when standing can help maintain blood pressure. Another cause of hypotension is nutritional deficiencies, particularly B12, folate, or iron deficiencies. These vitamins and minerals are important for red blood cell production, and their deficiency can lead to low blood volume and hypertension. Good sources of vitamin B12 include meat, fish, dairy products, eggs, and fortified cereals. Meat and fish are also good sources of iron. Folate deficiency is rare, but leafy green vegetables, legumes, and nuts are good sources. Supplementation forms of vitamin B12 and iron are also available. The seventh most common cause of hypertension is heart problems, especially heart failure. Slow heart rate and valvular heart diseases are also significant contributors. When hypertension is due to heart problems, the most common symptoms include shortness of breath, swelling in the legs, and chronic fatigue. Patients often have difficulty performing daily activities due to fatigue and weakness. This is more common among elderly patients than younger individuals. Among arrhythmias, sick sinus syndrome is the most common condition that causes a slow heart rate and low blood pressure. This condition is more commonly associated with age and scarring from previous heart surgeries or heart attacks. Patients with heart problems are usually already informed about their heart disease, and hypertension is typically not the first manifestation of a heart problem. In these cases, heart rhythm is commonly decreased. On an ECG, arrhythmias can be observed, and echocardiography can measure heart structural problems and ejection fraction, which is important for assessing heart failure. Elevated levels of natriuretic peptide in the blood can also indicate heart failure. Other causes of hypertension include endocrine diseases such as Addison's disease, hypothyroidism, and diabetes. Severe infections and septic shock can also cause hypertension, regardless of an increased heart rate. By recognizing these causes and symptoms, appropriate treatment and management strategies can be implemented to address low blood pressure effectively. Generally, intake of salt increases blood pressure. Additionally, caffeine can stimulate the sympathetic nervous system in the short term, leading to increased blood pressure. Common sources include coffee and tea. Certain vitamins, such as vitamin D and vitamin B12, can also slightly increase blood pressure. Here's a summary of these points. 1. Salt. Consuming salt, sodium, can lead to increased blood pressure because it causes the body to retain water, which increases the volume of blood in the bloodstream. 2. Caffeine. Found in coffee, tea, and some energy drinks, Caffeine can temporarily raise blood pressure by stimulating the sympathetic nervous system. 3. Vitamins. Both vitamin D and vitamin B12 can have a minor impact on raising blood pressure, although they are not typically used as primary treatments for hypertension.